Hello and welcome to today's video. So I am temporarily moved out of my house and we've moved into a flat and we'll be here for about three months. I took all of a couple of categories of makeup, like my mascaras. I took most of some other categories, like my foundation, and I took a select few of other categories. So blush, you know, I took a lot of blush, but I left a lot of blush as well because we're able to store things in our home while it's being repaired until we move back in. So I want to use everything that I've brought with me. I'm going to have a separate project for eyeshadow. That video might be up already. If it is, I will um, stick a link up. And this is my project for kind of everything else. So it's basically everything that's not eyeshadow or mascara or like eyeshadow primer, primer, things that I don't have that much of or I have things like I'm naturally already focusing on a particular eye primer or whatever. So kind of everything else is in here. So I have my blush, highlighter, which is only two individual highlighters that I brought, bronzers, face palettes. I have quite a lot of shades in face palettes. Um, foundation, concealer, powder, brows, because I, I don't feel as bad about if I focus on a bunch of different brow products, because I do have a bunch open anyway, um, as I would about focusing on a bunch of different mascaras, and nail varnish. So I am going to do a project 10 uses. I randomize, I for the intro, I'm going to do 15. We'll see. Um, immediately, I have a slight problem with the 15 I've rolled. There's a lot of lips. There's one high. Oh, no, I'm, I've brought three highlighters because one of them is here. That's why I wasn't on that list. Um, one highlighter, three bronzers, two blushes, loads of lips, two, lip, two nail varnishes one concealer there's no foundation like that's but obviously like I'll just still use my other makeup I don't only have to use these products that's fine but um it's a lot of lips so in order to kind of use all of these lip products 10 times it'll take a while though today this is because I filmed a different video so I just changed my lipstick this is a different lipstick I'm gonna none of them are in this project of course but if they were I'd be able to count both of those Pardon me. So anyway, let's get into it. These are the first 15 things that I have rolled. The first up is the Essence Shine Last and Go Nail Varnish in 84 Heat is On. So it's this lovely kind of burnt orange and will be great for the autumn that is nearly here. I have a uh, little apple cider candle and my little pumpkin candle is ready. September 1st, it's going up there. Anyway, um, so I was thinking, God, 10 uses is quite a lot for nail varnish. And then I was thinking, well, if I used it on my fingernails five times and my toenails five times, that would be 10 uses. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm happy to try and see how far I get. One thing to mention, a couple of products I did remove from the list of things that could be rolled. And that includes, for example, this hot pink nail varnish. I have some sp specific hot pink things that I packed because Halloween is in this season and I might want to do something Barbie-esque for Halloween or Barbie-ween, as I saw it called on uh, Instagram Reels slash TikTok um, recently. Anyway, um, but I don't really want to have to use the hot pink lipsticks I brought 10 times. Anywho. Next up is our first lip product, the Maybelline Lip Lifter Gloss in 8 Stone. So it's kind of a cool tone nude. I love these glosses and they're actually very, like there's not that much product, product in them. So if you like the satisfaction of using things up, this kind of thing, you could use up. So it's a lovely nude. Uh, I've, I've, I wrote these products last week, like as we were moving and it's been a chaotic week of moving things. Uh, so I have used this a couple of times already. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up is L'Oreal Mulberry Ecstatic Glow Paradise 353 Mulberry Ecstatic Sheer. 
So I don't know exactly what this line of lipsticks is called. I guess Glow Paradise. I don't know. And this is that kind of like berry. It can look quite red with a lot of it on. Or that kind of like black cherry-esque or um, black honey Clinique-esque thing if uh, it's more sheared out. So I actually really like it. I think it's very pretty. So yeah. It's one like I kind of wanted to wear it yesterday and then I realised I was going to eat and I needed a more long lasting formula. It's it's one of those could move all over the place kind of a shade or formulas and obviously a deep shade. So though it is kind of sheer. Anyway, next is another lip product. This is the Catrice X Jenny collab lipstick in Teddy. So as you can see, we've just like a lot of lip products here. And another brown, perfect for the autumn, won't be a problem. And I like, I like a lot. I love the packaging. Sorry, I have all of my, all of my 15 things in front of me. Uh, so it's a bit chaotic here. Next is the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam. It's the More Than Glow Highlighter in 20 Supreme Rose Beam. This is so pretty. Maybe I'll swatch hand, hand products face products on my hand and lip products over here um so i had this in a project before trying to wear away the imprint and i had mixed results but beautiful cool tone high shine highlighter really really like it so 10 uses shouldn't be a problem other than like i do have a few cool tone lips in here but it's just i wouldn't wear it with a warm tone look is the only thing it's not like a neutral highlighter it's quite a cool highlighter i wouldn't wear it with this look for example um next is i've gotten totally lost oh yeah oh i'm going i'm trying to do the row backwards is what's happening next is the maybelline um lipstick in 65 spicy mauve shine shine might just be the formula i don't know um i love this color i love this lipstick the packaging is kind of funny because this is kind of chunky but um this looks sleek and nice i think i don't know and i do like square things that can't roll away on your table i like that a lot another you might notice like i love a pigmented lipstick i am not about the barely there lipsticks because the color of I like the color of my natural lips but it is very undersaturated like very 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 pale and if I'm a bit tired or anything it's even paler so it just looks like my skin um even though it does have a color to it it's so undersaturated it looks odd and I don't like it at all so I like a lip product that has some color to it too give my face better structure anyway uh, be a better landmark of my face uh, rather than just like washing into my skin color so that's that's why we got some some color here and uh, next is my favorite blush the Kika Milano and uh, Lost in Amalfi baked blush in O2 Silky Sand and very warm toned so won't necessarily go with all of these lipsticks and I wouldn't really wear it with this highlighter but as you can see, like it's pretty light. So I'll try and do a better swatch there. As you can see, it's got a bit more of a satin finish. Like it's not a flat matte at all. So uh, this is definitely one of my like, I'm in too much of a hurry to do loads of complex makeup. I use this as kind of brush, bronzer, highlight, all of it in one because it's a bronzy toned, glowy-ish blush. So it kind of works for everything. And I absolutely adore it. Ten uses will be no problem. Next is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Le Ink Lip <laughs> in 35 Cheeky. It's not, It's like the lifter gloss where the packaging is freaking enormous. Um, but I this is the first one of these I've gotten. I quite like the formula. I'm um, going for the wrong side it is very cool toned you can see there um lovely really nice and good longevity so i quite like this it has a smell i don't like at all and the superstay matte inks have that smell but stronger and 
I don't like I don't like the formula of those. I don't think they're great. But um the smell also is a problem. This it's the same smell but it's a bit lighter, so not as bad. Um next sorry, not wearing my glasses. It's you you guys know maybe I'll just put my glasses on. Would that help us out? A little bit. Uh, they're filthy. Next is the uh, Catrice nail polish in Dancing Queen. So I had this in a project last year. So you can see there's about a third gone already. Um, I am wearing it today. It's just this gold, not gold, glittery top coat. It's so pretty over any colour. Like this might sound weird, but I bet it'll work. Uh, so I really really like it. It's pretty on its own um, and like the pink is very subtle once it's over another colour It doesn't like interact in a weird way. It's so nice. I love this 10 uses won't be a problem. Like I just smacked it on Like one minute before I filmed a previous video there because I knew I'm not that bothered if a tiny bit of glitter gets on something You know if they weren't fully dry uh, while I was still going so that's going to be easy to use 10 times this will be a little trickier because obviously it's such a color it's just if it chips it looks bad so I wouldn't necessarily want to do it when I'm going to be really tired in work and busy that week or like last week when I was moving everything I just had a clear base coat on my fingernails because I knew my nails were going to suffer um but this one I would be very happy because because it's on its own in particular you know you wouldn't really notice when it chips uh, anyway that's a good one we'll be happy to use that next is the flower heatwave bronzer i was going to wear this today but then i was using this um face palette from the band that i got in tk max and i just figured i'd use all three shades that are in here which includes a bronzer so i love this bronzer it's so pretty did I miss swatching anything? Just the nail varnish. But actually it's on my fingernail, so I kind of did swatch it. So that's the flower bronzer. Like, just kind of, like Jen Phelps describes this as a more pinky bronzer than most, as opposed to more orange. And I think that's true. Or like, ready. There's something, it's much more suited to my undertone than many other bronzers are. So very happy to have that i did have something i was wiping uh, fingers from swatching off next is a face palette so this is the catrice caviar gauche uh, face palette and we've got a highlighter two blushes and a bronzer so i did split up all the shades in my face palettes for this project I'm not sure if that's the best way to go. I'm gonna see how it goes with these, but with this first few weeks, because it's actually kind of difficult to remember which shade I'm meant to be focusing on. And like the beauty of a face palette is, like I used this the other day, I couldn't remember which shade I was supposed to use, so I just used all of them. <laughs> and the beauty of a face palette is, you can just use everything together. Uh, actually, I have this highlighter on today. Um, is lovely so yeah shade number three is what I've rolled to my mind that is one two three as opposed to one two three four I think it's like one two three and then on the next row four I'm not sure if you agree with me but anyway so I think it's the bronzer and <laughs> I will swatch it for you now. These are not perfect swatches because I am just using the same finger. You can see it's a, a bit less pinky than the flower, but it still works for me. It's quite light. There's a, an eyeshadow palette with this as well, which I think I packed. Yeah, I did. Um, And it's very, very light, so it suits me super well, but I'm fortunate that they didn't release more colours. Um, with that launch next is a concealer this is the only like actual base product that I happened to draw this time but anyway this is I am wearing this today actually well I'm a bit intense with the base today I'm, I'm not sure why but that's what happened to happen so this is from 
pennies or primark this is the ps my perfect color concealer stick and i got this because robert welch said it was great and he's right it is awesome so you just like like a lipstick and then draw it on and it's pale it's a bit yellowy which can kind of do okay for a bit of color correcting for me um and i love the application of this i find it very easy i i like sticks I can draw on my face with. I like that for a cream blush. I like that for a cream bronzer. I like it for a concealer. So big fan. 10 uses will be no problem. Another lip product, the Catrice Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Luminous Grapes, which is number 70. And I quite like this. And when you see the colour, you think, oh, it's super cool toned and really punchy but it kind of is a quite nudey on me because I do have a cooler undertone and then also I would often do like quite a light layer so I'm a big fan of that one actually and uh, looking forward to having a reason to reach for it next is I did do a bit of a build your own palette for face shades of some of my magnetic shades and again I numbered the shades so number two was drawn which is the bronzer from samantha march's life's a draft palette i that's a terrible idea because i'm swatching them over here i don't know why i would do it on that side so this is too warm toned for me i'll swatch it down below the other two bronzers you can see it's like much more yellow but totally works in the summer and it, I could just be a bit more light handed. And like this is a very warm toned look. I would use it with this look, no problem. So um, wouldn't be my shade for every day for the rest of my life, but totally use it 10 times, absolutely no problem. And I love that the pants are magnetic. So I was able to bring them in this little palette. So again, we'll see like will I be tempted to just use all the all three Samantha March shades when I'm using this palette or use one of these KVD um blushes or bronzer well maybe probably not the, it's like a contour uh probably not the same like you can see how yellow that bronzer looks in comparison to the contour there anywho we'll see if the face if the individual shades in the face palette thing works and then the final Roll number 15 is another face palette. This is the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter Palette. These are so big. Um, <laughs> Five grams in each shade. Sorry. Let me see actually. What's in like the Catrice Highlighter has 5.9 grams. So actually it's I guess just big for a face palette. Often pans of the face palettes might be a bit smaller. Anywho, so I rolled shade number three. So one, two, three. So it is Stop and Smell the Rosé. And Blush Lighter is the, uh, the correct name for these because they are not at all subtle. Like they are quite shiny. Not my most shiny blush. My most shiny blush is in that Becca face palette, the Sunsetter palette, but they're like quite shiny. And I was kind of off shiny blush for a while there because I was thinking, oh, it's emphasis like I have a lot of texture on my skin. It's really emphasizing the texture, but maybe I don't care or maybe it's just the summer and maybe the autumn. I want that more full, juicy cheek look like, um, what's it? Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun says, casually sweaty cheek. Uh, I don't necessarily want casually sweaty because I have such oily skin. But see, look at these weird shadows. I... Not the perfect setup. We'll see what improvements can be made there. But um, I don't necessarily want casually sweaty, but maybe I want a juicier cheek right now than I used to. And I'm not too concerned about the texture, which if you can't see it is because I'm filming on my phone and not because I don't have texture. Uh, so yeah, those are the face shades, one highlighter, two blushes, three bronzers, one concealer. And then six lip shades and two nail varnishes. I may reformat this and, for example, roll two blushes, a highlighter, a bronzer, 
three lips at a time, something like that, like decide which categories I want next time. Or I might continue the randomness, we shall see. But I'm going to work on these for a while and then I'm going to come back to you whenever I feel like it. So ne not necessarily in a month or six weeks or three weeks or anything predetermined, just whenever I feel like it. So maybe when I have five rollouts or something like that, I'm going to come back and update you and roll for some new products. And maybe I'll realize, do you know what, actually, I hate that bloody blah lipstick. I'm... I'm not, I don't want to use it 10 times or something like that. But I, th I don't think I should own things that I don't want to use 10 times unless they're for costumes. <laughs> In fact, I have this on my toes right now. I just don't want to wear hot pink on my nails for five weeks, um, which is what I kind of feel like would be necessary to get the 10 uses. So... I am going to leave it at that. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Are you doing any projects at the minute? I've been watching a lot of updates for Project Level Up, Deck of Panning, which I, I totally fell off the wagon with Deck of Panning, um, and Partners in Cream. I've been watching people's updates, keeping in the loop. Um, I am being a little discouraged by my Panda palette eyeshadow-wise. Um, like, I know people are really dedicated to their palettes and hyper focused and they're trying to finish every shade I'm a, I'm a bit more trying to hit pan on every shade but I'm discouraged that I haven't hit pan on this shade yet so it's kind of like knocked me a bit that um so I, I kind of think projects like this where obviously I am trying to use product but I'm not necessarily trying to hit pan or focus on finishing things it's more kind of like targeted usage and helping me to get around the whole of my collection is more where I'm at these days. But we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.